All right, guys, we are down here at the mountain and we're about to get geared up here and skin down. There's a lot of people here sledding today, um, but no one else here that is actually going to be skiing by the looks of it. And also, by the looks of it, not a lot of snowmobilers today, so all, uh, all good things. Left one of my uh, day makers on the ski. In case it wasn't obvious, we are testing the day makers in this video. Anyway, uh, I gotta put my boots on and then we'll start our ascent. It's identical to the other one. Keep in mind that was our first time doing that, or at least my first time. Um, it was not, it was not as easy as I would have liked it. Um, but that being said, I might get better at it over time. But uh, now it's time to start walking up the hill, and that's going to be the real test. Yeah. Here goes Calvin. Um, I gotta say, it's easier to walk like this with the adapters than it would be to walk if uh, I did not have the adapters. But uh, we'll see if this is easier than just hiking up and putting your skis on at the top.
All right, so that was my first run, first little test with these. And uh, I gotta say, I, I liked it. That was enjoyable. Um, it's a little bit of a pain to put them on and take them off every time, but, uh, but I feel like, you know, had I hiked all the way to the top and then took them off, I probably wouldn't feel so bad about it. Oh, second time clipping in, a little bit easier than the first. Uh, definitely just something you gotta get the hang of, but second time clipping in, very easy. And um, yeah, so this time I think we're gonna hike all the way to the top and then we'll ski down. So I'll, uh, I'll hike up and I'll see you guys at the top. All right, so we're about halfway up and it's getting pretty steep up here. And one great thing about these day makers, Calvin's gonna show us, the little... there's a little lever you can flip up and now you're your heel. You're supposed to be able to do that with your pole, but I can't do it with my pole. Pro probably with some practice you could do it with your pole, but, uh, but anyway, so that way your heel or your foot kind of sets on the ski at a little bit of an angle to kind of balance out the pitch of the hill. We've made it up here. This is as far as we're gonna go. Um, the snow is not super great, so we figure don't torch ourselves today. But uh, I gotta say they work pretty well getting us up here. Uh, Calvin did mention something that I think is kind of important, is they are a little bit heavy. Um, and when you're coming up the hill, in the backpack, it's coming up the hill, it's not bad. You kind of gotta shuffle your feet. You don't wanna lift your leg up all the way. You kind of wanna shuffle. Um, but when you throw them in the backpack, yeah, they're a little bit dense in the backpack, huh? Yeah, definitely. Just a little bit. But anyway, let's uh, get to the bottom here. All right, let's uh, clip in and rip it up. snow possible yeah you guys can see there's a lot of snowmobile tracks and it's uh it's frozen real solid just the way it is so it's really fast and really chattery but that was so worth it that was a good test run of our day makers but uh, I don't think we're gonna do too much more skiing today Alright guys, well, uh, that was a pretty successful uh, test run with the Daymaker Touring Binding Adapters. Kind of a mouthful to say. Um, but yeah, I don't know, hopefully uh, this review was helpful to you if you uh, are looking into buying them yourself. Um, 
I, uh, I, I don't know really. I, I'd have to do it more, a few more times, and maybe on a bigger mountain, and maybe even trek a little bit further uh, to really know if it's worth it to have them as opposed to just hiking up the mountain because just hiking up the mountain, I mean, if you're a real mountain man like myself or Calvin over here, I mean, just hiking, it really isn't that uh, big of a deal for us. But um, once again, Calvin, what, what would you say about the touring adapters? Um, I say they're definitely worth it, especially like you said, if you go further than we did. Yeah, if, if you're on a bigger mountain or just on a longer hike, I guess, um, they're probably more worthwhile. And just and, carrying skis on your back is so heavy. So. And, and let's let's also mention, we were going up a uh, packed down icy trail, you know? Yeah, like, definitely. In if, there was a foot, if there was a foot of snow, um, heck yeah, that would be better than hiking for sure. Because um, if there's a foot of snow, you'd need a pair of snowshoes to hike. Otherwise, you'd be screwed. So, um, but... Yeah, anyway, um, I, uh, I definitely enjoyed them, and I would definitely recommend them if you're looking into uh, getting into ski touring, but you don't want to get a whole new set of skis or bindings or whatever. The binding adapters, uh, they totally work. So, um, But anyway, that's going to be the end of this video here. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.